What is the creepiest or most unexplained thing that's happened to you that you still think about to this day? Was camping alone in a small one-person tent. All snug and secure in the tent, I went to sleep. Was woken by a clap of thunder at 3 a.m. to discover both the inner and outer tent door was wide open. That was freaky. I was living in Boston. I woke up at 3 a.m. or so by my cat jumping up on my bed and curling in between my calf muscles and going to sleep. My cat would do this every night since I was five years old. This was his spot. It was something I was very familiar with. Thing is, my cat was living with my parents on the west coast, so I couldn't understand what the hell I just felt. But I knew it was my cat. I just figured I was dreaming. Got a call from my parents the following morning that my cat died around midnight the previous night, three hours behind since I was on the east coast. Guess that was my cat traveling to Boston to come see me one last time. Edit. After so many replies, I gotta say this. Really, I wasn't dreaming. I remember it quite well. I said maybe I was dreaming because I was doubtful myself. But thinking back, yeah, I was wide awake and realized my experience. Despite being a fun believer in ghosts, suspension of disbelief, I haven't had any other experiences other than this. This is my own experience, and I expect and appreciate the doubt, but call it what you will. Maybe around age 14, early 90s, we were traveling from Texas up to Tacoma, Washington. We were about out of money, almost out of gas, no food, stuck in Chico, California. I sat in the car while my mom took my younger sisters to the restroom at a gas station. I was riddled with anxiety about our situation and looking down. The car door opened and I looked up. A lady that looked like a brown-haired Brady mom sat in the seat and faced me. She said, it seems like you're down on your luck. Take this and give it to your mom. Tell her to pay it forward someday to someone who needs it. I looked down into my hand and there was a $100 bill. I looked up and she had disappeared. Nowhere in the parking lot, just vanished. I cried. When mom came back, I told her what happened and she cried. We got gas. There was a guy selling oranges on the side of the road and we bought a bag and went to a local park that had a part of the river with a little spillway dam and went swimming and ate oranges for a couple of hours before getting back on the road. I never saw that lady again, but she saved us and we did make it up to Tacoma to start our new life. Thank you, stranger lady with invisible powers. We never forgot your kindness. I once woke up in a tent in the middle of the night while camping in the Upper Peninsula with my friends. I heard this dude shouting and screaming about a bear, telling it to fuck off and stuff. Naturally, I woke my buddy up and told him what was up, and he said he could hear it too. We got out of our tent and searched for almost an hour around the campsite and found nothing, then proceeded to find a Red Wings hat that was neither of ours. We took watch turns the rest of the night and I'm pretty sure he still has the hat to this day. I was putting my daughter to bed and she was talking about her godmother because we were reading a book that her godmother had gotten her. Her godmother died in 2019 of breast cancer. She was my very best friend, more like a sister, and she doted on my daughter. We are reminiscing about her and my daughter's twinkle light she has on her ceiling starts going off. They have multiple settings and they are on the rainbow setting. Not too weird, maybe they have a short or something. I go to turn them off. They aren't plugged in. I figure it's my friend saying hi. She loved rainbows. I'm not superstitious, but she promised to stick around and haunt us. I find it comforting. Those lights still go off every now and then. <laughs> 